think of Quinto, man. Free Ross, shot free A Rod. I'm just doing this little turn right here, make sure everybody that's fucking with Benish know she's a fucking right. Well, I was fucking with Benish, I'm not condoning y'all. You're a fucking right in my eyes, too. She did it for 117 years of her life. life. She's sitting there posting shit like everything is all fucking groovy. Like she got no fucking heart. She's a cold hearted Pakistani and slut. You can fuck for a buck. She got my fucking music right now. She got my IG password. Whatever she's doing with my IG, do not send her nothing. Do not email the email address that she got for me. Do not take none of my music from her. Do not do nothing that got anything to do with Benish. If you're fucking with Benish, you're right with yourself. I'm not fucking with nobody that fucks with Benish. She gave my boy Quinn 117 years of her life. It's like, why are you playing hard? Why am I drunk? Boy, like, point blank, period. Whoever's fucking with Benish is a right. Don't talk to me. Don't ask me for nothing. That's for Check it out now. Oh, God. Now, I don't know what the fuck them GS9 boys were doing, but the sentences they are being handed out by the judge is looking like Black China and Amber Rose body count. Okay, now, if you guys don't know, Bobby Schmurda and, of course, Rowdy Rebel, they are serving a seven-year sentence, all right? They took a plea. Bobby initially could have got less years, but he took a couple more years that Rowdy could actually get less years. But both of them, they're doing seven, all right? Now, there were 15 people arrested in GS9. Not all of them actually took the same plea or got the same plea offer because some people were accused of more serious crimes. Now, everybody was kind of offered a plea. Some people turned it down and chose to go to trial. Now, one defendant, and you guys might know him from the Hot Niggas song, his name is Quavo, okay? And I'm not saying Quavo, I mean Quavo, all right? Basically, he turned down a 15-year plea because 15 years is a long-ass motherfucking time, and he basically then went to court and got found guilty. Now, he got found guilty of a bunch of shit, okay? He was convicted of conspiracy to commit murder, attempted murder, possession of a weapon, and 20 other felonies. Come on now, 20 felonies, come the fuck on, right? Now, here's the thing, because he was sentenced to over a hundred years. They actually gave him between 117 to 110. 30. Now, I don't know how they could give you that. I don't know what's the, 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 the thought process behind that. And obviously, they're giving out multiple sentences and they're not choosing for it to run concurrently, which means they're not letting it all run at one time. So it's one after the other. But they got homie jammed up. Now, homie was in court. He wasn't really looking for sympathy. All right? He told the judge right before the judge even gave him the sentence. He says, fuck you and suck my dick. Now, that's not the thing you want to tell a goddamn judge before the judge decides your fate for probably the next half a century or even more. Now, he told the judge that, and of course, you saw what happened. Now, here's the interesting part about it, because Rowdy Rebel actually spoke to somebody outside of jail, and he basically said, the reason why my man is doing 117 years is because somebody snitched. And he called out the person managing his Instagram account now and the person who has all his music now as a person who took the stand and told on his guy, all right? It's kind of crazy to think about it, but I'm not going to lie, man. If you get 117 years, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't just one person that sent you to jail. I'm pretty sure you gave all the evidence to the police and they had a lot of evidence to send you away. Otherwise, perhaps you'd be able to get off, and if it's just one eyewitness that sent you to jail, maybe you could, like, somehow finagle your way out of it. But 130 years, that seems like a very firm and hard sentence, man. And again, listen, the best option for all these guys who claim no snitching and saying people shouldn't do this and people shouldn't do that, the best thing is don't do the crime at all. And if you got to do a crime, you better not do it that nobody can snitch on you. I keep telling y'all. When y'all be doing crimes with multiple people or even bragging or telling other people about your crimes, you're basically just asking for people who are quote-unquote not involved to snitch on you. Because if they ain't do the crime with you and they get jammed up, they are going to put you under the jail because they not no criminal. And a lot of times we see these quote-unquote real street niggas, they start hanging out with civilians who not about that life. You got to hang out with either straight criminals or hang out by yourself. You hang out with a fucking civilian and you tell them everything you done did or you put them in a compromising position knowing they not about that life, you know what they're going to do. They're going to tell and that's not even snitching, okay? Again, I don't know exactly what this person did to Quano, but according to Rowdy Rebel, they took the stand. Looks spooky, but I ain't going to lie. 117 years is a motherfucking lot, all right? Get a comment. I guys like, definitely subscribe. 
If y'all got 817 years, come on, what would y'all do? I, listen, man, just give me five minutes. I'm crying, screaming. Like, I can't, I ain't even built for jail. I got to be honest with y'all. Maybe y'all are, y'all some real screen niggas in the comment section. I know I'm not. So I know 117 years he's definitely feeling. But you guys be the judge, man. Check it out. It's Woodjack Academics. Uh, also, follow me on your Instagram at A-K-A-D-M-I-K-S. I'm out.